Hello! In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can add audio files into your Ionic Creator apps. So, we add audio to our applications for many different reasons, right? This could be a sound effect for a game, or an audio played on demand, a podcast, an audiobook, right? All kinds of reasons why you might have an audio file that you want to play. And our Ionic framework includes the support for a variety of common media types. So it is, it's fairly easy to integrate in things like audio and video and images into our applications. And so what I'm going to show you today is how we can play a sound file on demand using like a button click or um, another type of control. So the first thing I want to point out is there are really three different ways to play a sound in the Ionic environment. So the first one is called Cordova Media. And so uh, I just pulled up the ngcordova.com documentation here so you can see what this looks like. Um, but this gives us the ability to record and playback audio files on a device. So it is a fairly good documentation if you wanted to use this type of media. You would need to add your plugin and, and things in. Um, and I'm going to get into saving files to the device in a later video, but you can always pull up files from the device. Today what I'm going to show you is how to pull them up from a URL. But this is uh, especially useful if you're going to want to record, because we won't be able to record through the method I'm going to show you today. The second way is to use the Cordova PhoneGap extension to use what's called native audio. So this is particularly useful if we are in an HTML5 environment, such as gaming or audio applications that require a minimal amount of latency or concurrency. So this would be the other way that you could use to add in media to your applications. And you can see some samples here again on the NG Cordova site. So what I'm going to show you how to use today is the third option, which is called web audio. And so this is a simple um, HTML5 uh, browser audio tag, and you can create it from JavaScript and then play a song or um, any kind of audio file using the audio HTML tag. And so the first thing you'll want to do is, um, and like I said, I pulled up the Mozilla documentation here if you want to look at um, how to use things like the video element and the, and the audio tag element um, here in the HTML5 documentation. But the first thing you'll want to do is pick out um, some URLs, so some actual like MP3 or WAV files that you can access through a URL. There's a lot of different websites out there that will let you uh, get uh, like sounds, just like sound files, clicks, bings, bongs, spaceship sounds, right? All kinds of different things for use in, in games or, or other applications. So uh, that's the first thing you want to do is pick out a couple of sounds that you want to use. Um, I like to grab sounds uh, from this website right here. Um, they're not very descriptive, so you do have to click on them to, to hear them, but they just do, they give you just a basic MP3 link that you can use, and it's, it's fairly low latency as far as uh, waiting for the, the file to load. So next we're going to want to choose what kind of control we want to do. Uh, I'm just going to go with a button for right now, but I, I'm going to show you how to do this with a couple of different controls. So I'm going to play sound. Of course, you could always add in, um, you know, something to dress this button up a little bit. You could change the color. Um, you could add in an icon. In fact, there's a music, like a musical note. There we go. So you could add in something cute like that. And so we're going to come down to our code section because this is ultimately where we are going to direct our button. We're going to set up a function that on click is going to play our selected MP3. So inside of our controller function here, I'm going to set up a new function. So scope dot, I'm going to call it play web audio. That's the name of my function. Right, standard JavaScript syntax for creating a function here. And so um, it's basic uh, kind of logic, a good coding practice to set up a try catch um, just to be sure if for whatever reason, you know, if maybe the internet isn't active on the device, um, like you're in airplane mode or something like that. 
um, you want to be able to catch any errors. Um, you could do an alert. You can also do a console.log, which I'll show you in a second um, if we get an error. Okay, so this is inside of the try. This is where our, our code is, and it's really only two lines. So we're going to do scope.audio equals a new audio, and then in parentheses, inside single quotes, the URL to the MP3 that you want to use. So I'm going to pick one off of this website over here and grab the URL and paste that in there. So you can see it goes to the MP3 file that we want to play. And then we do scope.audio.play. All right, super simple stuff. So let me move this down. We have this play web audio function. So let's look at how we hook that function up to this button. So make sure you're clicked on the button. Come over here to our properties window. We're going to add an Angular directive for an ng click. That's our click event. And our function is play web audio, open close parenthesis. So we can test this out in the browser. And when I click on play sound, right, I get the laser noise that I picked out from the website. Right? So it seems like simple stuff. Now there's a couple of different controls that you can use uh, or um, things you can dress up that you can ultimately put an ng click on. So if you don't want a button, um, one of my favorite ones is a card item, mostly because, I'll only grab a card here. They already have this nice play song button and you can, oops, you can get rid of some of these individual units if you want. Um, so you just have the play song button if you want. And see, that's already dressed up really nice. And so you don't have to do a lot of work. In fact, you can hook it up to the same play web audio function if you want. And then, right, and it looks nice and it plays. So I hope this video has helped you see how you can add in some audio content to your apps. Um, especially if you are not wanting to mess with the plugins and things like that, and you just want kind of a, a quick and easy way to add in a sound effect. Um, of course, like I said, you can go look at the documentation for some other ways that you can add in audio to your application, depending on what it is that you need. And later in another video, we'll look at how we can start saving uh, data to the device so that you would not have to depend on these being in, um, URLs, but you could save MP3s directly to the device so that you could play them offline. So as always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.